Hi, welcome to Freezer Meals 101. I'm Sharla. And I'm Christy. Today we are making Make Ahead Appetizers. Woohoo! And I'm In case wearing you can't a tell. ridiculous holiday sweater. Because we didn't coordinate no. very well today on what we were gonna wear. Because You're wearing like fancy holiday. I look like I'm ready for a holiday party, but Charlotte yes. also looks like she's ready for a holiday party. <laughs> just a different kind. Yeah, just of a different kind of party. party. That is super cute, though. You should stand on your toes so um, people can see what it is. So it's a, it's a penguin, penguin, and so it cute. belongs to one of my daughters. Um, and we have lots of you know, ugly Christmas sweaters that we've amassed over the years, but this is the one I picked for today, so. That's all right, that's good. So we're going to jump into our recipes right away, and we're gonna get to this a little bit later. <laughs> okay, so we are bringing you recipes today that you can make now, mm -hmm. freeze, and then take out for your holiday parties. Now that could be Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year's mm -hmm. Eve, New Year's Day, whatever I you or know, the time if, leading up to if you get invited to a work party or a friend's party and you say what can I bring and they say bring an appetizer we've got you covered we've got you covered so these are freezable they're doable because if we can do them you can do them and they're delicious otherwise we wouldn't be showing them to you absolutely <laughs> so let's get to the first one so this first recipe, my sister-in-law taught me how to make. It is the Santa Fe Spirals. Her mom makes them. And I tried them at her place one time and had to get the recipe. It's that kind of thing. So you're just gonna take some flour tortillas. I use the burrito size flour tortillas. Mm. And then you're gonna soften a brick of cream cheese, mix that together with some sour cream salsa now you don't need a lot of salsa the salsa is a little bit for flavor but mostly for color some chopped green onions and then half to one jalapeno that's been seeded and finely chopped now the spice of a jalapeno is mostly in its seeds and membranes so if you like things spicier feel free to keep the membrane and seeds in there yes. and if not take the membrane and seeds out you I didn't know that about the membranes. I'm sure oh. we, now that you say it, we've talked about it before, but how do you peel a membrane out of a pepper? You just, so you just take a small spoon and scoop. Oh, it's the inside. It's, it's the, like white. the white part. Yeah. Like oh, white, I was thinking like, green. like peeling the membrane off of like pork ribs. Oh, no, just, it's just like, just the pepper membrane. Gotcha. Oh, good. I do that anyway. <laughs> gotcha. So you've mixed that together. And you're gonna spread it on your flour tortilla, roll them up. Now here's the part that changes if you're gonna be freezing them versus if you're gonna be serving them right away, is if you're gonna serve them right away, you can put your rolls in the fridge for a little bit to get you know a little bit more firm and then you can slice them. I like to serve mine so that there's a bowl of salsa in the middle and then kind of fan the little spirals out mm -hmm. around the salsa and leave a little spoon in the salsa. But if you're gonna be freezing them, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap each one of the rolls before slicing in some plastic wrap and then put all of those in a large freezer bag and seal that and freeze it. And then the great thing about that is you can take out as many as you want. Right. You can take like two out if you're two just, to come to my party, two to go for Christmas Eve. Yeah, or like if you have a large family like we do and you gotta take them all out, or maybe you wanna watch a movie like Love Actually and you just want a movie snack, you can take yes. one out and slice and it it's and have your little, you know, and dip it in your salsa. Oh, and cute. so that is our Santa Fe Spirals. I have an idea. I don't know if you'll like it. Okay. You know that you can buy spinach and tomato-based tortillas. Yes. You could have green oh, you could. and red From tortillas. From the salsa with the red, yeah. When it's Christmassy. Yes, you could. No, no, oh, red. I'm you can buy the red tomato so flour tortillas. So every second tortillas. one could be Sure, when you, or you could have your fan, the green ones, and then the red ones, and then the white ones, and then your salsa. That would be pretty. I'm not sure about the taste of that, but that would be really pretty. Do you think they taste different? Do you taste a difference in oh, them? Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't catch those things. 
It was just an idea, you know. Well, I think it's definitely an idea worth pursuing because then it's more is that? festive, right? Very Christmassy. <laughs> yes. Okay, what do we have next? We're going to do the classic cheese ball. We like it because it's portable. You can enjoy it with crackers. And everybody loves a cheese ball. What's not to love? Unless you don't like cheese. No. I, I know people like that and I feel bad for them. Yeah. I really do. It's like people who... My lactose intolerant kids. Yeah. Like, oh, it's so sad. People who chocolate gives migraines to. Yeah. I feel terrible for them. Poor guys. All right. More festive. The cheese ball. <laughs> start out with your cream cheese. I'm doing this one in the mixer because there's some heavy duty mixing happening here. You start it with your cream cheese that's been softened. You add your shredded cheddar, some green onion. Now we're going to get into some of the flavors. You want some Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of dry mustard, parsley flakes, and dill. All of those go really well together. We're going to add in some pepper and some salt and you mix it up really, really well. Now how I was taught to do it by watching my mother do this, is you take it and then you put it in the middle of a sheet of plastic wrap and then you use that to kind of mold it into a ball shape. That's how I was taught to. Yeah, and so it works pretty good. Now when you go, you can just pop that into a freezer bag and then freeze it. On the day of serving, you have the option of adding some really finely chopped pecans and you kind of dust the outside edges mm -hmm. of it. And it's just, it's pretty and it looks nice and it tastes good. I think I would skip the nuts personally. I would too. Uh, one of our daughters has nut allergies, so that's mainly why I would skip the nuts. But you could, um, you could also do like some parsley or, you know, roll yep. it and that kind of thing, or even just sprinkle on top with that. Ooh, some like red pepper flakes or, a, or a, even a sprinkle of paprika. Yeah just to give it like a little bit of a pop. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to roll it in nuts or parsley or whatever, or even some green onion, because it's got green onion in there, that's mm -hmm. another option. You would want to thaw it first so that of course it's kind of sticky and would stick to the thing you're yeah. rolling it in. So yeah. Awesome. So today we popped right in and like went right into the recipes. But if you're new here, welcome. Hello, nice to have you. Uh, we usually talk about freezer meals, that's not a surprise, with a channel named Freezer Meals 101. But we also like to talk about anything else that freezes, and mm -hmm. we consider ourselves kind of experts on the whole freezing your food topic. Somebody in our Facebook group called us the queens of everything freezer meal. And I'm like, that was a pretty good compliment. It's pretty good. There's been some other good ones too that I would, there's some great titles that we've had yeah. to do with freezer meals. We should we should write them down and put them on a t-shirt. <laughs> we should. Speaking um, of t-shirts. Oh. It's not a t-shirt, but I do have a little Christmas present for Sharla. She she does know that I'm giving her one this time. I gave her her, Christmas, her birthday present on camera. She didn't even know it was no, happening. No, that was a surprise. I knew this was, I knew I was getting you a Christmas gift today. You knew that you were getting, when I walked in the, the door, yes. uh, we're in our test kitchen, which is Sharla's. Yeah. And um, so go ahead and open it, and then okay. and then we will continue on. Okay. So. Because this is we've been talking about this for a while, and it's been in the works. Okay. If you're not new here and you've been watching us for a while, you know that Christy wears an apron every time. Every time, talk. almost every time. I like an apron. I like to protect my clothes, and, and they're cute. And I do not. So. But we would always said. We need to get our logo on it's, an apron. It's a Freezer Meals 101 apron. So I got one for each of us. Okay, I'm going to have to wear this because even though I don't wear aprons, it's a Freezer Meals 101 one. So I need to wear this. I mean, it covers my penguin, but. And it makes the balls like look <laughs> like, like they don't. This is the wrong shirt to be wearing on the day I wear you know, an apron. You know, when you came in wearing it, I thought, oh, that's not going to work with the apron, but what the heck. Oh, well, here we are, and uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas to me. I get a Freezer Meals 101 apron. Yeah, you do. I'm going to have a matchy one. I'll wear it another time. Okay, this does look funny with the nose, the penguin nose You can take it off. Here. It's allowed. But super cute. So... We have goals. We have goals of setting up a merch shop because someday this could be yours. <laughs> <laughs> someday you could wear the 
Here's me as when I went apron. Yeah. Or, or a t-shirt that says shirt. director of space management on it. <laughs> That's one of my titles. <laughs> so thank you very much. You are very welcome. Very sweet Merry of Christmas. You. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna take it off because I have a penguin nose that's poking out <laughs> here <laughs> and not flattering under the apron. Yeah. But but I will wear it the next time we do one of our things. So if you are new here, when we we are neighbors. Oh, we're neighbors. We're besties. And we discovered about ten years ago that we both do freezer meals. So we thought we would try this out together. And so we did, and we kind of made history, like we're good at it. We fill our freezer. We do over a hundred meals together every three-ish months. Yep. And we've been doing that for 10 years. So we're like, do you know what we need to do? We need to teach the world how to do freezer meals. And that's what we do here. Because then you don't have to think about what to make every day. That, that so... 4 p.m. dinner dread, gonna put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, uh, we don't have that because no, our, our 4 p.m. dinner. Yeah, the big circle. With <laughs> yeah, because yeah, um, our freezers are full. I took out. Um, I took out some chicken to have tonight that's already made, and I bam, it's sitting. It, it's sitting on my counter thawing. I know you're not really supposed to do that. You did not hear that from the freezer. Meeting. I didn't tell you to do that. No, but I tell you to thaw in the fridge. Yes, we do please. overnight. <laughs> safely <laughs> we yeah. just do the safety things <laughs> but really I don't have to think about it um, I don't have to put too much effort no. into it and then after supper do you know what we're doing we're going to guitar lessons so I you know we can eat and go it's really really helpful super helpful and <laughs> so we have been in the last big mega session that we did which was pretty recent so we'll link to it right up there uh, and we did 129 meals. Okay. So in that one, we actually impromptu made a buffalo chicken dip because we were making buffalo chicken quesadillas yes. and we had leftover buffalo chicken. We don't mm -hmm. like to waste anything. So it got made into buffalo chicken dip. Mm -hmm. We also made buffalo chicken dip in our appetizers, appetizers video. And so we've been making buffalo chicken dip quite a bit this year, but I thought it was worth mentioning in the holiday appetizers because it's just so good. It's so good. There's... If you love it, you love it. And I don't really know anybody that doesn't like it. I, I haven't met anybody yet. somebody that didn't. <gasps> I know. <sighs> it's shocking. It's like the people who don't like cheese and can right. eat chocolate. <laughs> the buffalo chicken dip. You're going to take four boneless, skinless chicken breasts Cook them and chop them. Then Can I tell you something real quick here? Mm -hmm. I prefer it chopped fine instead of shredded. So yeah. many people shred it. I don't shred mine. I chop I, it. I prefer quite like, fine. like a nice fine chop. It's pretty di like pretty fine diced. Yeah, that's how I do it. Yeah, yeah me too. That's I mean it's a preference. Go ahead and shred it. I'm not telling you you can't shred your chicken. No, I prefer it. Yeah, fine diced too. Yeah. Carry and on. sorry. Okay. Then uh, you're going to have your brick of cream cheese softened and then a whole bottle of ranch dressing. Normally you could put three to four stalks of celery chopped, but I'm allergic to celery. So Christy and I both have adapted. Now she came up with this idea and it's really brilliant to use one or two cans of water chestnuts mm -hmm. that have been drained and chopped instead. It gives you the same crunch as celery would. But it doesn't overwhelm you with taste? Like no. it doesn't change the taste of it? Nope. It's really good. It, and some people who are not allergic to celery have actually said they prefer it. Yes. So, you know, mm -hmm. give it a try. If you've been making it with celery all this time and you're not that big a fan of celery, maybe you want to give this a try. That's right. And then you're going to put some Frank's Red Hot Sauce in there. now. Three quarters of a cup is what the recipe calls for. I put when, a lot more than that. When I make mine, I make it with three quarters of a cup. <laughs> or I use the extra spicy. Right. Because I just like things hotter. Yeah. So that's fine. It's true. Do it however you would like it. And then a cup of grated cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. You're going to mix that all together and then put it into your dish. Now, you can put it into an oven safe baking dish, cover it and freeze that, or we're using the foil trays with the lids and that way they can just go right in there. You can probably cook it from frozen, but I, I usually thaw mine. And you can put it, you can put it in a freezer bag and transfer it. 
Yes, if you that's can. what you have handy. If Go ahead and do that. If space is an issue. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Of course. On the weekend, I was at a party. It was a 40th birthday party. Happy birthday, Vicky. And somebody had made the, the buffalo chicken dip similar to this. They did not pre-mix it. They put the brick of cheese in. Well, I mean, obviously it wasn't a freezer meal either, yeah. probably. But they put the brick of cheese right in when they put it in the oven and then okay. let it melt and then stirred it in before serving. And so if you're doing it that day, yeah, I mean, I've always mixed plan. mine together, yeah. but it doesn't mean that you have to. Because you can do it whatever way works best for you. Done is better than perfect. <laughs> We're going to put that yeah. on a t-shirt. Because <laughs> that is what we live by. We kind of um, have to. Mom of seven here, that's what I have had to live by. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Otherwise, nothing would get done. <laughs> no, no, it's true. It's true. So there's options. There's, I mean, you can make this your own. And then you can serve it with tortilla chips mm -hmm. or with crackers or cubed, cubes of bread, whatever mm -hmm. you want. Uh, this is spinach and artichoke dip. Uh, you're going to start it with your chopped frozen spinach. You want to thaw it and drain it and squeeze all that water out. You know that how much of a fun job that is. It's better to do it when you're not expecting guests on their way over. Mm -hmm. Right? You do it and then you can put it back in the freezer. How nice. <laughs> then you're going to have two cups of sour cream, your brick of cream cheese that's been softened, a cup of mozzarella cheese, half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and then you can take a can of artichoke hearts and you drain them and you chop them. Add some salt and pepper and some garlic cloves and some chili pepper flakes. That's optional, but we just established that Charlotte likes things spicy, so the chili pepper flakes go in. You're gonna mix these all together. Now this makes a lot. Mm -hmm. If you aren't sure, this will make a lot and it will make two large freezer bags. So you can um, give one away, you can save one for another party, you could put it into four smaller freezer bags so that you can have like a little bit and a little bit, like she had kind of mentioned about the spiral rolls. Mm -hmm. You could, you know, have individual servings of spinach dip and have it for supper. <laughs> Not, I've never done that. Have you ever done that? Oh, appetizers for supper happens around here because we love appetizers. Appetizers, love appetizers for supper happen around here. This is true. Yeah. This is true. So we're going to mix all these together. You put it in the bag, you lay it flat and you freeze it. On the day of serving, you, same as the buffalo chicken dip, you're going to put it in an um, oven safe dish, warm it up for what, 40 minutes in a 350 oven. You're going to serve it with crackers or pita wedges or your tortilla chips and um, be a hero of the party. Yes. It's hero worthy, it's very good. <laughs> it's very good. Now, these bacon wrapped jalapenos mm. are so good. They give the artichoke spinach dip a run for their money. They Maybe do. Maybe that's the hero. Yeah, they, they could these be are, the hero. <laughs> these are really good. So for these bacon wrapped, jal oh, before I start telling you about these bacon wrapped jalapenos, I have to tell you that if you like bacon, we have a video, I'm gonna put it up there for you. It is all bacon wrapped appetizers. These are in it, but there's a bunch more than that. Yeah, and like, and we tried a new recipe in there. Yes. And so, you, if you like bacon, if you're a fan of yes. bacon, then you wanna check that out because we made a bunch of bacon wrapped appetizers. Bacon wrapped everything. Yeah, and so you, then- You're not gonna, you need to go and look because you're not going to believe one of the things we wrapped up in bacon. <laughs> it's true. And then we have them for, for our parties. parties that we've got coming up. Because so. we're so popular. No. Well, <laughs> you're having a holiday party and we're having... Can you please wear that sweater to my holiday party? <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to look nice. You will look nice. <laughs> it's a penguin. <laughs> I made oh, my own... did you see? He has a scarf. Aww. I don't know if he's got to get the full effect. I made my own Short. Christmas sweater one year because when they got really popular and I couldn't find one, but yeah. we got invited to a Christmas sweater party, ugly Christmas sweater party. And so I made one for my husband that just basically looked like a present hanging around his neck, but it was a beer holder so he could put his beer in it. Okay. And it looked like a present on the front of this brown sweater. But mine was a white sweater that I put a blue piece of uh, felt 
and then used cotton balls to make the Yeti oh. from the snowman, like the Island of Misfit Toys, like the Yeti. That's fancy. It was good. I have no idea where that is. Hmm. If I can dig it out, I'll wear it to my Christmas party. <laughs> I won't. Okay, so what you could bring if you were coming to Christie's Christmas party is the bacon wrapped jalapenos. Way to get us back on track. <laughs> We're both bad at getting off track, wow. so, you know. Welcome. It's all good. Welcome to our lives. We're glad you're here. So for the bacon wrapped jalapenos, see what I did there? You're going to take some cream cheese. Now, in this video, we're using a lot of cream cheese. So if you do have that lactose issue, we apologize. But there's a there's a recipe coming up next that has no dairy. So can hang you, in there. Can you buy lactose-free cream cheese? It must exist. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, we'll okay. never know. so you've got your cream cheese, then a little bit of pepper, uh, and then shredded cheddar cheese. Again, sorry to any lactose-free people <laughs> or dairy allergies. This is not a dairy-free video, but some of ours dairy-free. Anyway, it's coming. Hang in there. Uh, it's coming. You could use Tex-Mex, Jalapeno Jack, or cheddar mm -hmm. for this cheese. You're gonna mix all that together. And you've already prepared your jalapenos. So what you've done is you've washed them, you've taken the tops off, you've sliced them in half, and you've taken out the membrane and mm -hmm. the seeds. So you've scooped them out, laid them out. Now you're gonna slice them horizontally in half. Then you will fill them with your cream cheese mixture mm. and wrap them in half a piece of bacon. So, yay for the bacon. Yay now, for the bacon. there is a trick to freezing these, and that is that you're going to lay them all out on a cookie sheet, and well, you can line your cookie sheet with parchment paper to make sure nothing sticks, and then you're going to freeze that. Mm -hmm. Once it's frozen, then you're going to transfer it to a large freezer bag. Get out all the excess air, because air is what causes your freezer burn. We don't want Freezer burn like at the holidays. That is not a Merry Christmas. Alternatively, once they are frozen, you can transfer them into one of your little trays. Oh, yeah. Then you can cook them straight from frozen mm -hmm. and you can skip the thawing stage. And then it's gonna be just like you got it from the grocery store because it's already gonna be in its little container. Because you can buy these bacon wrapped jalapenos from yeah. like M&M Meats or the, the freezer section in your grocery store. Of course you can. They're more expensive. Mm -hmm. But they're also not quite as good. It's like the little things, like the dash of pepper that's in there. Yeah, and, you know, being able to customize with the cheese. Now, you don't want to overfill them. I forgot to mention that. But you don't want to overfill yeah. them because then as they're cooking, like, the cheese will bubble over and... Oh, no, it'll bubble up over. That's terrible. And <laughs> you can cook them on a little wire, too, so that the bacon crisps up on the bottom side, too. A oh, wire rack on so your cookie sheet. Yeah. There's options. You've got options. You've got options. And now we're going to get to, to the, the only recipe <laughs> in this set that it's is okay. dairy-free. If you're dairy-free, you just hang on to this one here. You just <laughs> put it in your pocket. Okay. Cocktail meatballs. Super easy, because do you know why? You're going to buy the meatballs. You can go to the store, you can buy vegetarian meatballs if you want, mm -hmm. or just any kind of meatballs. They can be the Swedish, they can be Italian, doesn't matter. As long if as they're pre-cooked. you pre want to make your own, feel free. Feel free. But. Fill your boots. But but we're, we we're going for simplicity Costco here. Costco frozen meatballs. <laughs> right. Um, you're going to add an eight ounce can of jelly to cranberry sauce, three quarters of a cup of chili sauce, some brown sugar and some lemon juice. You're gonna mix all of these together in the bag, make sure everything's incorporated nicely, remove all your air, seal it up, lay it flat to freeze, and then on freeze, or on cooking day, you're going to put it in your slow cooker, and then you're gonna either put a spoon in there for to dish up, or little toothpicks. Serve it next to some toothpicks. Yeah, and yeah. everybody will go for it because it's, um, everybody, everybody loves this. The kids will like yeah. it as much as the adults. I almost always serve meatballs when we have mm -hmm. a party like this because it's just a little bit more substantial. Sure. Than all your little- Because there will be somebody really... that didn't eat supper before they come. Yeah. And if you've partied with Charla, you know not to eat supper before you come. Definitely. <laughs> I love appetizers, I mentioned that before, but I love appetizers and I yeah. love making them. 
and inventing new recipes for them. And so, yes, there's always more than enough to eat. A plethora. Yes. Of appetizers. There's a plethora. But yeah. these cocktail meatballs are great. There's also, you can mix one entire bottle of chili sauce and an entire jar of grape mm. jelly mm -hmm. and just two ingredients plus your meatballs. So three ingredient meal and that is really good too. Or you can do like a sweet and sour one I've done before. But anyway, these are great. I'm doing ones. the salsa and ketchup one. Oh, I haven't done that before. Equal parts salsa and ketchup mixed with your meatballs and you will get to try it out to my party. <laughs> She'll report back. No, I won't because they're beef, but... <laughs> oh, they're beef. She won't eat them. That's okay. That's okay. I, just I did look right for out. the vegetarian one. Hopefully these ideas will help your Christmas season be even easier and tastier. Oh, yes. But we are going to link right there to that bacon wrapped video. Because oh, yeah. if you do nothing else today... Go look at the bacon. Go check out the bacon video. <laughs> Thank Happy you so much. cooking and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.